course, this question too is about shifting your perspective about what unworthiness actually is. So our perspective is this. Unworthiness is a belief that's conjured in and experienced from, of course, vibrational agreement with the contrasting realm, namely the third dimension. Basically, it's a fearful belief, obviously. The underlying reason is because you are, generally speaking in your terms, forming your opinion about who you are based on the beliefs of others. And not only their belief about you, but the belief they have about themselves. They are creating their reality from that out of alignment position. And they attract others who are out of alignment too. Really, all of you. And no, <laughs> uh, that is not a judgment. If you weren't dominantly creating from the contrast, uh, simply put, you wouldn't be there. Um, there would be no vibrational agreement for you, you see. Anyway, when you accommodate the beliefs of others and accept them as your own, you then build your reality based on an out of alignment belief too. Therefore, you can only create an experience of that out of alignment asking and that belief is your asking. The universe doesn't name it or judge it. It just matches it. And it is the vibration that is contrasting to who you really are. Your beliefs are the foundation with which, on which, really, you build your unique physical reality. In essence, you are creating an out-of-alignment version of yourself and then experiencing the physical manifestations, your physical experiences created by that version of you that you created. You are blended beings. Your vibration is a blending of the contrasting physical vibration that manifests as the human you, the physical you, the physical us, really, and the vibration of who you really are all the time as your soul. That's the blending. The only part of you that goes away in its physical form is the physical body. The vibration of you that is you is the source vibration of you, the universal you. This is where your aliveness is and it is eternal. The physical vibration of you is a compilation of the out of alignment vibrations that exist as your memories, your experiences, your beliefs, your vibrational journey through the third dimension. It always remains as all vibrational agreements do in the realm of consciousness where it was created and is still in vibrational agreement with. It lies dormant, you see, when the soul is not focused on it and your you are then the collective you out having all these other experiences. So the soul vibration of who you really are is the oneness that you are as you venture out, so to speak, to other realms of consciousness, other realms of contrast for the purpose of expanding the collective you as the God consciousness of love. It's that pure love vibration where no contrast exists. The expansion occurs by way of your choosing. So in each moment, you are focused on something. It may be just for a moment, maybe a minute or two hours. It doesn't matter. The time doesn't matter. As you exist, you attract. Okay. So in each moment, you are focused from a position of agreement, vibrational agreement. One position is in alignment with who you really are. And the other one is out. We refer to this as the dominant creative force, 
the dominant vibration is what you are attracting from the universe. So as you are becoming more and more aware of your blendedness, uh, meaning you are recognizing more and more and welcoming into your awareness more and more, the idea that you are the creator of your experience, your individual experiences that make up the overall experience as you in the physical form. It's your physical reality. The collective experience, um, the collective is obviously, we think, dominantly being created as it always has been from the contrasting realm. You can always decipher clearly which vibration you individually and collectively are creating with by looking at your manifestations. You know, for example, war is out of alignment. It's an out of alignment creation and then experience. Starvation, out of alignment creation and experience. Lack, out of alignment creation and experience. What you refer to as toxic relationships, out of alignment creations and experience. Two out of alignment people creating one out of alignment relationship and both experience their version of it based on their own beliefs about who they are. Creating from the out of alignment position gets you one big manifestation of vibrational agreement, one collective reality that is created and experienced in unlimited ways from the out of alignment position. In other words, everybody feels unworthy and no one knows who the hell they are. So to sum it up, we suggest you all look to your soul, the expanded version of you for your worthiness feeling and knowing and most importantly, understanding. This is an inside job. This shift in perspective is an inside job. It is vibrational, guys. When you create your own belief from your unique space of alignment with your soul, there can be no question of your worthiness because then you'll know who you really are.